We are here at the Tampa International Airport because I'm flying to Austin, Texas. I'm gonna go scan the US women's soccer team. Come along with me. It's gonna be fun. Well, security only took a couple of minutes, even though I had to go through four times. That's always nice to see the fish tank here. Gotta love it. We're going to get down to our gate because I'm heading to Austin, Texas, and I'm gonna get to scan the U.S. women's soccer team. I made it to Austin, but I have made a critical error. It is 49 degrees right now, and I am in a sh shirt and shorts. I am from Florida. I assumed it's Texas and it's gonna be roughly the same temperature here. I am paying the price. I have a pair of pants in my backpack, but that's the problem. It's in my backpack and I don't have a jacket because I've got 3D scanning gear. Always a little bit to our adventure. Now it's time to get a ride out of here. See you guys in a bit. Well, you win some and you lose some. I am here at Icon and Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to get to film. Nobody returned my emails and they don't have like the reception area. Everything is authorized personnel only. So that sucks. I sent them a couple of emails, didn't hear anything back. So Icon, if you see this video, I'd love to come and film to teach people about concrete 3D printing and show how cool it is. So hit me up. You all have my card. A couple of people took my card. They're asking what I do. So bummer. That's okay. On to the next one. All right, Texas Adventure continues, and we are at what I am told is one of the best barbecue joints in Austin, Terry Black's. We're gonna go in, we're gonna get ourselves some food. We're gonna see what this place is all about. It's got 15,000 reviews on Google, 4.7 stars, and it's the one I'm told where I don't have to wait three hours to get food, which is my preference. Honestly, some of the best gosh darn barbecue I've ever had, and I wish I could get the smell of this place and just pipe it into all of your guys' computers because, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. This, some of the best food I've had. A little bit to take home for a later snack, but you can just see the smoke just choochin' out of the top there. This is a great lunch. If you're ever in Austin, Texas, go over to Terry Black's because you're gonna get some damn good food. It wasn't cheap, about 42 bucks, but uh, I'm, a, I'm a hungry guy, so. Probably get away with a little bit less, but hey, when you're here, gotta try a little bit of everything. Highly recommend it. All right. Let's go get to scanning. We got we actually got work to do. We gotta stop playing around. We got work to do. Alright, we're trying something a little bit different. I've got a camera mounted to my backpack. So you guys can come along for the walk, which really means it's gonna be a hyperlapse, but I'm recording raw. So this should be interesting. I've never really used these to film much, but there you go. It's a little strap rig that fits on the backpack. Came up with the idea to use this camera on it with its gimbal, but it bounces too much. So we're gonna go with an action cam instead that we can crop and uh, have all the fun in the world. So I gotta walk to the Fairmount in Austin. It's not the hotel I'm staying at. It's about a seven minute walk. I could Uber, but it's actually gonna be faster for me to walk than it is to Uber. So I'm gonna get on the road. You guys can uh, watch the trip. And that does it. We just scanned the entire US women's soccer team that is not injured. So these are literally the best of the best of the best when it comes to women's soccer in the United States. They were awesome, really great to work with, and the scans came out really nice. Can't show them to you guys for obvious reasons, but it was a lot of fun, and I'm really thankful for this opportunity. It is great to learn more about different sports that I don't really have a lot of exposure to, and at the same time, learn more about the backgrounds of every person because their stories are all unique and something that I find incredibly fascinating to learn more about. Boy, now that it's cleared up, that skyline is quite nice actually. Flip this thing back up, time to get walking. Back to the hotel. All right, well, it was a lot of fun scanning, but it's about the barbecue, man. We're going to Cooper's, about a 30 minute walk, but that's okay. I really enjoyed it here. It's a little bit different. I don't know if I could live here. The tall buildings are, I don't know. Not a huge fan of the tall buildings, but yeah, we're gonna go to Cooper's, get some food, and then I'm told, voodoo donuts. Stay tuned. Okay, it's actually kind of pretty down here. Got just big walls of glass. That building up there, assuming we can focus and it's not too foggy, proper pretty. Some people say Austin sucks. I can see why they might say stuff like that. It's kind of a 
kind of an odd area. You know, you have random buildings like that, but it's a suburban area that's grown incredibly fast. I mean, what do you expect? Some of these buildings are insane, though. Yeah, just like downtown Tampa. That's what it reminds me of. Architecture up there, that's kind of cool looking. It's nice to have a fourth act so I can run across the road and it's okay. Yeah, that's cool looking. Some interesting other buildings down here too. It's a mix between big city and not big city. It's interesting. Anyways, let's get some food. If there is one thing I've learned, is that in all my life, I have never had barbecue as good as Austin, Texas, and I will accept no arguments against that. If you think your barbecue's better, freaking prove it. Hooper's so good, taking some back for Miss Amber. Because apparently, you can fly through TSA with this stuff. So, A plus. Oh man, there's a lot going on down here. I don't mind it. I'm going to Voodoo Donuts. Let's make some poor caloric decisions. Not that we haven't been doing that all day already, but let's make some more pork lore decisions. Follow along. I'm in Voodoo Donut right now, and uh, I'm making poor caloric decisions. Take a look at this place. Absolutely beautiful on the inside. Nice and quiet compared to the rest of it around here. And yeah, this is Matt Stoltz's fault. Matt, I'm blaming you for this. I got an old dirty bastard and a voodoo doll, so. I'm gonna enjoy this. Day one in Austin, we did some scanning, we ate way too much food, and it's been a lot of fun. Thank you guys for joining me on this one. We should probably get back to doing some 3D printing or something, right? I could eat this all day, but I should probably do some 3D printing. I'm gonna dig in, I'll talk to you guys later. Day two of Austin, and we came over to the Umlauf Sculpture Gardens here in Austin, Texas, and first off, wow, what an amazing facility, but unfortunately, Due to some miscommunication, we are not going to be able to film inside, so I apologize for that, but I talked to the director and it'd be really cool if we could actually come out and do some 3D scanning, so let me know in those comments, guys, if you'd like to see us work with the Umlauf Sculpture Gardens and Museum, and we'll see if we can make that happen next time we're in Austin because they have some amazing artwork here. I wish I could show them to you, but I can't. Let me just look at the sign, okay? Look at the... If the sign is of anything to tell you what's in the museum, it's pretty cool. Yeah, some paperwork that was not relayed to me. It happens. So next time we're out here, we'll make this happen. I'm excited for this. I hope you guys are too. Let me know again in those comments. But now we're going to go find some art that's actually in public domain to scan. Let's go. Right behind me is Willie Nelson. And uh, you can see the, uh, the Eva is over there too. We're going to be scanning Willie. So uh, that only sounds weird when I say it out loud. I'm going to set you guys down over here and hopefully... It tracks me the whole time. That's the best I'm gonna do. We got a camera on the scanner as well. So let's get to work because I got a plane to catch. Okay, we're out at the Willie Nelson sculpture. I've got the Eva, you've got the POV cam. Let's see how far we can get. Mr. Wilson on a pedestal here. I don't know how much he would have enjoyed that, to be honest with you. I want to run range instead. Uh, I think it'll be easier. So I brought Revo Point range with me as well. We could try out to see what this thing can do compared to the EVA. Not enough point cloud data captured. Well, that sucks. I thought range is supposed to be good for this kind of stuff. I don't understand why there aren't enough point clouds. Do you not work well outside? I bet you don't, because you're infrared based. Yeah, you won't work well outside, will you? Okay, so range is out too. All right, so that didn't work out too well. We're gonna try the other way, which is with the iPad. This is a Gen 1 structure scanner. We're gonna give it a shot. This is all struggling because we're outdoors. Bummer. Okay. Man, we are 0 for 3. I brought all my scanners with me. Well, 
You win some and you lose some. And uh, for Mr. Nelson here, I did not win. Been a day of striking out, but that's how it happens from time to time. Being outdoors means it's kind of difficult to capture all of the detail because it's too bright. The backside of him actually got good detail on a good scan, but the front is just too lit up. So I got to repack all of that so I can get back to the airport. It's been fun, Austin. Hope to see you guys soon. Well, we're in the airport, so that means my time in Austin has come to an end. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it, and Austin, you guys are weird, and you should stay weird. Your barbecue is phenomenal, and I want to come back just for that, let alone the potential of scanning in the gardens, which would be really, really cool. Unfortunately, really didn't have any luck today. Sometimes that happens, right? The weather doesn't play ball. You don't have the paperwork that you need, and the people you were trying to film with don't get back to you. We were trying to scan the Willie Nelson sculpture, and Eva was doing okay, but it was having issues with the light outside. The Rubber Point range had no luck whatsoever, and the iPad scanner is an iPad scanner. LiDAR would have been the right way to do that, and our Artec Ray would have done it pretty quickly, maybe an hour or two max. That's the way it goes sometimes. I hope you guys enjoyed this journey, but it's not done yet. We gotta go back to Tampa, and then tomorrow, April 9th, for me tomorrow, is three years since I injured my back. And a lot has changed since then. We're gonna have a podcast, or there will be a podcast. Go take a listen if you're interested in my origin story and how all this came to be, how the long hair came to be, and hopefully where it's gonna go. Anyways, I wanna come back here again. Definitely wanna come back and go scan the gardens and the sculptures there. That was, that was really pretty. Hopefully I can bring you guys along with me. Let's go catch a plane. Back in Tampa, so that means I gotta get back to work. Thank you guys for coming along on this journey. I know it wasn't as fun as some of the others, but hope you still enjoy it. Let me know in those comments what you think about this. If you do want to see more of these travel vlogs, even if they don't necessarily have any 3D printing or 3D scanning in them, I don't know if people like this kind of thing, but I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, guys, stay safe out there. Don't forget to call your loved ones, and as always, keep making awesome. Have a good one. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video, and a massive thank you goes out to all of our Patreon YouTube channel member supporters whose names are listed right next to me at the $5 tier and higher. Remember, if you want to support the efforts that we do on this channel to help democratize engineering and all that fun kind of thing, you can support us via PayPal, Patreon, and YouTube channel members. Thank you for all of you. That kick a couple of bucks into that creator fund. Purple Me will be my last trip solo when I went to San Jose, California to go scan the 49ers. Next to that will be the trip that I took with the better three quarters when we went to the East Coast Rep Rap Fest. See you guys down to those comments and in the next one. Take care.